Hi and welcome back to Free Do Hub. As you know, we have started a new series of lectures where we are covering all legacy operating systems from Microsoft. We started from installing Windows 2.1, then we installed Windows 3.1. Windows 95, 98, and today we are going to install Windows ME, which is also called Windows Millennium Edition. It was released on 14th of September 2000, so let's continue with the installation. Press New, name the operating system, put it in a respective folder, press Next. Try not to give more than 128 MB of RAM because if you will allocate more RAM, you will end up having issues. Press Next create disk no need to change anything over here as well dynamically allocated and I'm going to give around about 1 GB of storage space on my hard disk once that's done go to the settings and then go to storage remove this empty drive from here then click on controller ID add the optical disk and select the ISO file for Windows ME choose and press ok once that's done fire up your virtual machine now here we'll select uh, boot from cd-rom then we'll select start windows setup from cd-rom press enter Okay guys, so this is our initial look of the freshly installed Microsoft Windows Millennium Edition. And let's go through the features of it and see what's there we have, uh, what's new in this one. As you can see, they have added this uh, show desktop icon over here. Plus they have added some icons in the taskbar so that uh, we can manage them. And then same thing, uh, we have the options for the toolbar and uh, desktop items, etc. Now if we click, Start and if we'll go to the accessories uh, we have uh, features like accessibility etc they have added on-screen keyboard in this version which wasn't there before in Windows uh, 98 and then if we'll see further in the accessories we have uh, an option of the magnifier as well uh, this feature was also unique in Windows ME which was added later uh, we didn't see this feature in uh, Microsoft Windows uh, 98 okay so after that uh, if we'll see in accessibility that's done in communications uh, we have the MSN messenger over here which was introduced in Windows ME Millennium Edition uh, then it evolved with the passage of time and then uh, they took over Skype so now instead of MSN messenger we have Skype services nowadays so net meeting was there and phone dialer then in entertainment if you can see they have added this thing new as windows media player further if we'll go down uh, on the entertainment list that's all in the system tools we have uh, disk cleanup uh, which wasn't there in windows 98 uh, we can remove any idle or unnecessary junk files on the computer and we can still find this disk cleanup in the latest version of the operating systems. Now after that uh, in the system tools we have uh, maintenance wizard which is new and the game changer in this version of the operating system was system restore. With the help of this feature you can restore your computer to an earlier point or you can create a restore point like uh, fresh installation if we'll click it next it would create a restore point we still have this feature in windows 7 as you can see a restore point has been created and if we'll go to home and if we want to restore our computer to an earlier time we would see this option appearing over here and we can restore the computer to an earlier time so it was a very big change in this operating system and even if you look at the advertisements of this operating system they were highlighting this feature quite a lot 
address book was normal calculator still the same as windows 98 no big difference in that and uh, if we'll go to imaging again it's from kodak and uh, it was used uh, to scan the documents with the help of the scanner and uh, after that in accessories we have uh, ms uh, dos prompt uh, notepad still the same no difference in that even till to date it's uh, almost the same then we have ms paint exactly the same no difference in it as compared to windows 98 and uh, if we look at uh, windows explorer it was there now windows movie maker was introduced in this version and make some short clips and um, uh, edit the movie yourself now this one also was something new in windows me and uh, it was uh, there even in windows xp uh, later they removed it from the operating system and it was a paid service after that now on WordPad, uh, exactly the same. I can see all the same items over here with no difference at all in the overall functionality of the WordPad. Now after that, as you can see, there are lots of new games which were added to Windows Millennium Edition. Online services are the websites only on startup and then they upgraded the version of Internet Explorer as well. And Microsoft Outlook Express is still there. If we'll go to the taskbar and start menu items, it's almost the same as Windows uh, 98. You can clear it, you can sort it, and then you can add or remove the items from here. If you are going to the control panel, we have all the same features which we saw in the earlier operating systems. In the network, still, it's the same, where we can define a static IP address. The only change in the icon I can see over here, scanners and cameras. We can simply follow the wizard and add the camera, whatever we wanted to add in this version of operating system. And if you go to the system, we'll find the normal details about the hardware of the computer and uh, overall graphics driver, etc., which I updated it for this version of uh, Windows ME. As you can see, it's a 32-bit display. You can go to the properties, to the driver, and update the driver. And from here, you can update the driver of the display. Even of the performance, 79% resources are free, and we are using 128 MB of RAM. Virtual memory settings are also here, graphics memory, and uh, the file system for this computer. Uh, telephone is there, users they have changed the icon a little bit and uh, here we can add the users and in the passwords uh, that's also a new thing in this version of Windows where you can change the password of the computer and of the profiles. So if we we'll right click on PC it's the same option and if we will right click on it again we have the same option of mapping the network drive and rest of the services. In this version also if we will check the command prompt it wasn't there at that time so they had only ms-dos, msconfig is still there and if we will go to for example services they were not there and if we will go to we added we had the registry editor over here so that's about windows millennium edition and uh, i hope you enjoyed it that's it for today uh, before we'll close let me show you that before they had an option where in the shutdown they were showing an option to restart it in ms dos mode till windows 98 now they have removed it from this version so you can simply shut down the operating system. That's it for today. Have a nice day. Take care.